What's up, everybody? This episode contains a lot of sailor mouth. And by that, I mean, I'm going to be cussing a lot. So you got one or two options. One, you can take this content warning, tread lightly, and don't blare on the loudspeaker. Or you can kindly skip this episode if you'd like, and I won't hold it against you. Either way, I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And let's get to the episode. Here we go. What's good, Grown Up family? Welcome back to the Grown Up Podcast. I appreciate y'all for tuning in today. Thank you so much for all the support, all the love, all the word, encouraging words, um, following me on my social medias, even though I suck at um, posting and stuff like that. But, you know, thank you guys so much. You know, I have to start the episode off by thanking the listeners and subscribers. You guys have been amazing. Um, you know, I'm like I, I say every episode, I'm humble you know to that you guys continue to tune in and that you guys continue to um tell me how great the episodes are or even if they're not that great um you know constructive criticism is awesome as well um but yeah i mean just being there listening um even if you haven't listen for five or six episodes and you still like hey you know i'm I, i'm still got your your podcast in my mind i was thinking about it the other day like even that just means a lot you know and i don't care that you're five or six episodes behind you know so um i appreciate you guys for tuning in listeners subscribers y'all and my family much much love and let's get into the episode all right um oh before i get to the episode you know i have a little bit of announcements of course please check out that's not canon productions that is the production independent uh podcast production company that i'm signed with we're always constantly adding new independent podcasts and if you are wanting to be an independent podcaster you can also reach out to us we have resources to provide to help you start your own independent endeavor as well so just reach out check out our website that's not canon.com link will be in the description below where you can check out the whole family you know what i mean see see what uh independent podcast sparked your interest or go ahead and contact us and let us lift you up in your independent endeavor all right um yeah and i think i think that's all the announcements i really want to make for today because today's episode is really just i'm gonna call it get it off your chest because um i've been in this like really weird space that has been taking a toll on like my energy and my mental and a little bit of my emotional too and so um I've been just really like up and down and trying to just figure out a lot of things but also in the same breath of me trying to figure out things I'm also feeling like lazy and not wanting to figure out anything and so um I don't know what the hell just happened but I just got dropped from my latest therapist so I need to call and figure that out um or otherwise find me another therapist um I don't know if maybe therapy is God is telling me that therapy is not something that is my path um and I need to just stick with podcasting because it's a great um you know therapeutic thing for me to do to come on here and just talk with you guys um and you know you guys are are so awesome by just you know relating and even if you don't relate you're just telling me it's still a good episode or whatever the case may be like you know you guys are still there so um this is this is honestly very therapeutic for me and maybe you know god is telling me that i'm i'm putting too many things in my life that i'm i'm thinking is is something that's a solution for me when maybe i already have solutions in my life that i'm just not seeing as a solution and i'm stressing myself out for more things than i should be you know, and so, and this is kind of the weird space that I'm talking about. So, um, like I said, I'm just going to be getting it off my chest today. Um, that's what the episode is going to be about. It's going to be called, um, because I just, I just have things that that's inside that I really just need to get out. And I love you guys so much. And you guys are always there <laughs> to listen to me, get my shit out, talk my grown up shit and, you know, keep it moving. So, uh, so yeah, so let's get right into it. So, like I said, I've been in this really weird space where, um, and I think this kind of piggybacks off of my last episode where I was kind of talking about being afraid of making choices from like 18 to basically today years old. <laughs> nah, probably like, I'd probably say like 25, 24, 25, maybe like one or two years ago, maybe three, even like 
probably this whole time of doing my podcast i've decided or i've started really trying to make my like really consciously consciously make my own choices but i think really 26 when i turned 26 was the day that i it was a shift it, and, but it wasn't a day that I actually focused on what choice was until I had to go through some more things. And then that like that shift made sense. And now it's all like, OK, I got it. Like, you know, and so it's crazy because it's almost like a scientific thing. You know, they say that you're not fully your, your brain isn't fully mentally developed, adult, grown up wise, whatever that is, until you're like 26, 25, 26, which is fucking insane that they say that you're an adult at 18 and you can make free will choices, <laughs> but your brain is not even fully scientifically developed to understand these type of choices you're making until you're like mid, mid 20s, you know? And, um, but I guess it's also like, a that's just the way life is set up. You know, like you're, you're born into this world. You have no idea what the fuck is going on. People teach you shit and then you learn and you just grow. And eventually you understand that your power of choice in your own life. And then you start to make your own choices and, you know, they could go either way. They could go good or bad. And so for me, the choices that I've been making as of lately have been of course way better than before but it's also put me in like a really strange state because like I feel like my mind still wants to be younger and like kid mind like but I'm also battling and fighting with my grown-up mind and you know my kid mind is like fuck <laughs> that's basically what my kid mind is like it's like oh fuck um my kid mind just you know doesn't want to it doesn't want to grow you know obviously like when you're a kid you want to stay a kid you know like and everyone around you tells you to stay a kid forever and you know you know enjoy being a kid and and all this stuff and you have no fucking clue what the hell that means you have no fucking clue what that entails and you know there's not much detail in that it's just you you'll know when you get older and it's like fuck well tell me now shit so i can really enjoy this, the fuck out of this shit <laughs> and then when i get older like you know it's it's a better understanding maybe or you know i don't know but um yeah and then so that's my my child like mind side and then my grown-up side is just like every decision you know, you're an I'm analyzing, I'm getting into detail, I'm, you know, understanding that either way the situation turns out, whether it's good or bad, I have to be good with it and all this stuff, you know, and it's just like, it's that, it's that growth, you know what I mean? It's that from kid state of mind where it's like the choices you make and shit, you don't really have to think about it. You, sh you don't really give a fuck. Like it doesn't affect anyone. You're still going on with your life. It's all good. Uh, you know, that type of thing. And now I'm in a space where I'm like, wait a minute, what I do possibly can affect somebody. It possibly can change someone this way, or it possibly can change someone that way, or, you know, and just thinking about that and trying to figure out myself is a struggle. And so the weird space that I'm in and it's is like I had all this structure like in my childhood, just being like disciplined myself in school and stuff like that. And now I'm like trying to find structure like things in my grown up years. Uh, but I'm having like these energy bouts where I'm all in and then I get drained and I'm, and I'm essentially all out. And that's also a part of my personality in whole is my personality is very much a on off switch, you know, like I'm on, but when you flip that switch, it can be flipped off and it's off. 
you know, and when you flip it back on, it's back on. But there's no in between, really. And I've been struggling to try and find and be okay with that in between. But my my mind struggles with that. It struggles with that. As of lately, I now have gotten accepted to school. Um, so I'll be starting that in October. I believe I, I kind of br- briefly went over that um, last episode. So now between that, um, getting a new job, hopefully starting next week, <laughs> um, and trying to dive back into being consistent with this podcast. Um, I'm trying to find my time management. I'm trying to find the discipline. I'm trying to find the fire um, because all the things that I've been going through for the past couple months have just knocked a lot of fire and and fight and wind and, and all these things out of me. And I'm just, I'm feeling so drained. And I don't even think that I have really understood or recognized that with myself as well, or like even talk out loud with myself about this until like right now. So honestly, this is like live, like me just, like I said, getting it off my chest. So, you know, I'm, I'm in this space and it fucking sucks because I just, I have no idea what to do. And everyone's journey with transitioning is different and so yes they can be similar and a lot of things can be similar but a lot of things because we're different humans and we come from different parts of the world and different families or different situation environments all of that can is a lot of it is not the same you know the baseline is the transitioning but the deep rooted the human is different and for me i'm like so fucking emotional (laughs) like i'm just just to just to put it out there i am so fucking emotional and i don't know if it's because the hormones or it's because that's how i actually am um or what the fuck is going on but i'm just like i'm fluctuating up and down and you know i'm finding motivation i'm losing it um I'm, I'm having meaningful conversations, but they're not really sticking. Um, I'm, you know, going out and doing stuff, but it's not really as fun. And I, I, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's, I have to surround myself with different people or take a different path or, you know, I don't really know. Um, and maybe I need to get closer to God too, you know, maybe get more in my faith to, to really, try and figure out the path that I'm, I'm truly supposed to take. Cause I think I'm, I'm, I'm constantly looking at so many different paths and so many different things. And my mind is always thinking about so many different shit, so much different shit <laughs> that I can't really see like what my actual path is, even if it's literally right in front of me. And so Um, and I think that's because I just, I don't, I just don't want to fail, you know, and, and failure to me is just basically giving up on all of this, you know, giving up on podcasting, giving up on trying to be independent, giving up on, um, a dream, giving up on just everything that I knew in my mind as a kid, or at least getting into adulthood at 18, things that I really wanted to do and accomplish for myself, I'm not feeling, I'm not finding that fire to do that. And um, like I said, it's a lot of it is because like I've been going through so much shit and it's like, when I'm not going through that shit, fuck man, I am on a goddamn high, you know, can't nobody tell me shit, everything is good. You know, I I know that I'm making good decisions. I know that shit is is cool, right? But when all this shit starts happening back to 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 back, 
and you're not able to talk this out, you're not able to express this in a healthy way, you're not able to comprehend what the fuck is going on, you're not able to do shit, but hide under a rock and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and and apologies. I mean, I know I'm already almost 15 minutes deep, but if this episode has too much cussing for you, you can go ahead and turn it off here. But this is get it off your chest. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, it's just like, you know, what what the hell is going on? You know, what is going on? Um, I don't know. Um, right now, as of right now, I just know that I'm struggling. I'm really struggling to push this independent fire in me. Um, I feel like part of me, part of that fire has burned out because I'm doing this all by myself, which is insane because it's called an independent journey, um, right? (laughs) Meaning you, you're doing it independently. Um, But, you know, at some point when you're doing an independent slash entrepreneur type of venture. Even independents and entrepreneurs can get burned out. You know, even they have people, they have teams, they have people that they start acquiring that are specialists in this and that and this and that. And even they eventually end up growing a team or an empire or a company or a corporation or whatever. And you know, and it starts small scale. It starts with just like their friend being like, dude, I see that you work hard and whatever, whatever with this stuff. Like, I know you're not making money yet, but shit, we could get this shit together. We could build it. You feel me? And then boom, that connection is right there. Shit starts building. And then eventually you just start getting, getting more people. Um, or I mean, it's, I mean, it's so many different scenarios, but basically what I'm trying to say is that One of the conclusions that I came to is that, you know, I'm burning myself out by doing this solo. Um, and, And it's not because I'm doing it solo. It's because I'm trying to do too much solo. Um, you know, there is a cap and a limit to you doing independent slash entrepreneur endeavors because at the end of the day, we are still human and, you know, we we aren't like robots and shit just doesn't unfaze us like shit phases us <laughs> like let's keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Shit phases us and we're going to go through bad things and bad experiences and negative experiences and all that on our independent journey and road. But it's better to do it like with people around you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's an independent journey, but it's better to do it with people around you. And because if you're doing it independently, you go through all this shit by yourself and, you know, you could get like me and get burnt out and exhausted. And now you're you're trying to find the fire again. And it's it's kind of like just lingering like uh, you need a little bit help. You need someone else to help, like throw some spark on it or something, you know, and and it's it's crazy because it's like a pride thing. You know, it's like, this is mine. This is, I'm supposed to be doing this independently. I'm supposed to have the energy, the capacity, the, um, the will, the, the strength, the, the consistency, all of these, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to keep all of these going because this is something that I want and that I started. But also you have to be understanding of yourself, your body, your time, you know, all these other outside factors. And um, I think with me trying to consider all these outside factors, I'm literally sending myself, my brain, like in a spiral. (laughs) And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to reel it back and and figure some things out, but it's it's been quite a journey. Um, Most days I just wanna, you know, lay down in bed and and not do anything or just binge watch an entire new show that I just watched or really just sit there. You know, Um, I I don't even want to really just 
go outside and do shit. Like, I, I love just being at home. Like, I just love it. Like, besides podcasting and my fucking TV, like, it's just... I don't know. It's just a thing about being at home. And, uh, you know, maybe that also is something that's a little, you know, concerning and that I should make it a point to get out once or twice a week. Um, And but, you know, it just I I don't know. Um, I'm just I'm in this weird space and I'm I'm, I'm just figuring shit out. You know, I'm figuring a lot of shit out. Um, I'm figuring how. how to come back, you know, how to come back. Um, uh, you guys know that I've just been going through shit <laughs> for pretty much my whole transition now, since I started transitioning, like everything, you know, basically creating my whole new life, um, has been, <laughs> it's been a spiral, you know, and not too many people that have been holding me in their palms of just like, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I feel like it's just me saying it's okay, you know? And even though I've had, I have, you know, I have people, I have a couple people in my life that I talk to and discuss things with and you know, I, I have a couple people that I, you know, can, can relate to and we talk about some of these things and stuff like that. But um, I still don't feel like, you know, I I take too much for myself away from those conversations. And I end up really just blocking off those conversations and, and thinking that, again, like this is my my journey this is something that i have to figure out that i have to deal with and you know um maybe i'm maybe i'm closing my mind maybe i need to open it some more um maybe i'm frustrated with myself you know uh i don't know it's just it's so many things going on but one thing i do know for sure is that i'm happy that i'm doing things that I've been wanting to do for sure. (laughs) And one of them is go back to school. You know, I did really want to get my bachelor's um, in mass communication. So I'm working on that. And, you know, praise God, I got accepted and everything. And they've accepted most of my credits for um, from my AA degree. And so it seems like, you know, this uh, will be um, pretty short. Uh, but I think it'll be awesome, um, too, <laughs> because like I said, it's something that I wanted to do so badly for so long. Um, and then, uh, you know, staying getting consistent with the podcast, just getting up and recording the episode. It was, it was difficult for me to get up. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's, it's been difficult for me to get up and record episodes, um, for the past couple months. And, 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 you know, that's just being honest to God, truthful, you know, and, you know, shit, uh, probably a lot of artists that you guys listen to the same tip, you know, like some days they're just can't fucking get up and get in the studio and record and shit. I'm like the, the prime example that pops out is Rihanna, <laughs> you know, like, uh, I don't know Rihanna at all, but, um, just, judging from how long it's been that she's dropped music it's just like uh not saying that she's not into the music her heart's not in the music there's no spark in the music or whatever the case may be but she has a bunch of different other ventures and businesses and she's making her money still right and so it i mean i'm not comparing our our lives because you know she's rihanna (laughs) but if i'm just trying to you know make a, a a trying to help myself a little bit as well (laughs) and make a comparison you know with rihanna it's like you know she hasn't released music for so long and maybe it's not that she doesn't have the spark for it anymore you know like me it's not like i don't have a spark or you know i don't have a flame there or it's not like i don't have nothing there but maybe it's just that you don't want to 
maybe it's just that she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to jump in the studio and record music and, you know, put out an album. Maybe she just doesn't want to. And she hasn't wanted to for how many, however many years she hasn't wanted to, you know? And for me, it's like the same thing. Like a lot of the shit that I used to want to do or, you know, whatever, it's just like, I just don't want to anymore. And not sometimes with the podcast, like just recording wise, not just completely stopping the podcast, but just recording wise. Sometimes I'm just like, I just don't want to. Like, I'm just tired. You know, I just I just can't muster the energy to get up. And uh, my word of advice. Just do it. (laughs) Nike said it best, honestly, like literally every time I'm just feeling like shit, don't even want to get up to record or anything like I just fucking get up. You know, and this isn't to Rihanna because she's already making her money and shit. Like, I'm not. <laughs> Riri, girl, you is good. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I still got some work to do and I still got some, you know, uh, uh, push and drive that I need to, to put in myself. And so, you know, like I said, Nike said it best. Just do it, you know, and, and when you do it and it's something that you are passionate about and that you love it's going to feel amazing. And every time I record, I get up and record and, you know, release some shit off my chest. Like it does feel amazing. And, you know, I, am that's why I'm trying to stick with podcasting so much, you know, not just podcasting, but stick with this, this independent podcast that I am creating and I'm doing because it's from me. It's from the heart. Literally, like I'm literally speaking from the heart today. Like I said, this is get it off your chest today. For me, I'm speaking from the heart. I have no notes, no script. I've just been feeling so much inside of myself. And I feel like no one wants to stop and listen. You know what I mean? And and not to force, (laughs) not to force myself on you guys, (laughs) but um yeah, I mean, not to force, like I said, not to force myself on you guys, but just to one, have a therapeutic session for myself, but also two, like it can be something that, you know, relatable. You guys could b- possibly be going through the same experience or um, even if it's not the same, it could be some similar aspects in there or whatever the case may be. And, you know, but either way, that causes a connection, you know, for us and to reach out and talk to each other. And because I don't know if you guys need it, but I know I need it. I need to just talk to people. I need to talk about different perspectives, different things that people are doing, different things that they do to help themselves to cope or whatever the case may be, because I really feel like, like I, like I constantly say that we're all on this earth for a reason and to teach each other and to learn and grow from each other. But we can't do that if we're so separated, so, uh, you know, violent towards each other. So like it's you against me and it's really just not like it's us on this earth (laughs) trying to figure this shit out. You feel me? And at this point, like with everything that's going on in the world and everything that's going on with government here in the States and like shit is just crazy right now shit is really just fucked up like if we're just i'm just putting it in plain words like shit is really just fucked up and you know we're all working out here over time to you know breaking our backs to just try and keep our roofs over our heads and there's just so many so much shit going on and you know that's another another thing that like i have to factor into dealing with this weird space that I'm in and you know so it's been it's been a ride it's definitely been a ride it's been up and down um but you know I'm still waking up I still praise God and I thank God that I wake up and you know put he puts breath into my into my body um and you know I'm just uh I'm thankful and grateful for the people and the connections that I have made and the things that I have learned and I have grown from and will continue to learn and grow from. And, you know, I just, uh, 
some days I, <laughs> some days when I'm talking to God, I'm like, God, just show me the damn path. <laughs> and I know you shouldn't cuss when you're talking to God, but look, it's just, it's just me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have, I have a sailor mouth, potty mouth. Um, I should work on it, but life be life in. And so cuss words it is. <laughs> But, um, yeah, like sometimes I just be talking to God and I just be like, just show me the path. Like, just show me the path. What is it? Where, what is the steps that I need to take? What are the directions? Cause I can follow directions, God, but just hand them to me. <laughs> um, you know, and that's, that's just how I'd be feeling. Like I just, need God to walk up to me in my sleep and just hand me the directions. And I could be like, okay, great. Step one, awesome. Step two, dope. <laughs> but um, that's just the, the the power of life, honestly. Like the, the ability that we have an infinite possibility of being anything and anyone in the world, literally. We have the ability to be anything and anybody we want in this world. Yet we, you know, we box ourselves in into making it seem like we're only we can only be one thing or we can only be one or two things. But really, it's infinite and in what we can be, what we can do. And honestly, I really think that the world like shows us that all the time. We just we're just so closed off to it because we have these societal standards of you know what people should should do with their lives when once they're born and it's like it's 2022 now and there is not one thing that you have to do in your life you know i mean fuck sake you guys we get from zero to you know whenever <laughs> i won't say the definite <laughs> in because Sometimes shit happens in between as you're trying to make these choices and navigate your way to, you know, the 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 older part of the age. But, um, you know, we have from zero to whenever, you know, and I just, you know, I've just been feeling like it's 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 like we're not we're not really living up to to what we we can be as humans you know and and like i said with the societal you know standards that we have and uh you know judgments that we pass on people for being different uh you know it's just it's hard to really um be okay with who you are and what you do and i also think that's another thing that factors into this podcast too it's like you know in one breath i don't give a fuck about who listens and what they have to say about the podcast but in the same breath i completely do you know i i completely do want to know if you give a fuck about the podcast if you have something to say about the podcast if you know like and that's just kind of that's just kind of the way that it is, you know, but it's so many things, so many things, so many factors. Um, but anyways, um, I'm at my 30 minute mark. I won't I won't talk you guys ear off too bad, <laughs> but um, I think I might start doing this and just calling it the get it off your chest episode. Um, and, you know, if you guys have something that you want to talk to me about or want me to talk about i'm sorry or i mean either way if you want to talk to me about something or you want me to talk about something to get off my chest is you know put it in for the get off get it off your chest episode uh you can email me at grownuppodcast95 at gmail.com or you can send me a dm or however you would like to contact me it is all good in the hood and yeah we'll we'll come up with uh some things to get it off our chest you know what i mean and um i i think i think some some of these episodes that i have on my phone are like a get it off your chest type of episode and that's probably why i haven't really gotten back to them and analyzed them and put notes and stuff because honestly like like I said, this when when I really when I first started this podcast, this episode is so good that it's there's no script, you know what I mean? Um so I'm kind of getting back to that. Like I'm kind of getting back into the no script and and I don't know, maybe <laughs> maybe this is full circle for me. Maybe it's full circle for me. Hmm. 
something to think about after I after I finish this. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for listening to me rant and, you know, figure out shit in my head and just get things off my chest. I love you guys so much. I appreciate my grown up family. Y'all already know we're not going nowhere. We just going to take a little small break because what? We still got the naturally on a wave artist that we got to celebrate for the month. I hope you guys have been checking her out, tuning in, following her. And you already know we're going to take a little breaky break, break, break. And then we're going to get right into that now segment. So y'all, please do not move. We'll be right back. All right, what's poppin' grown up family? I appreciate y'all for sticking around for that little breaky break, break, break. And now we about to get into this Naturally on a Wave segment, the spotlight artist that we're shining on this month. Her name is Goddess Indra, and y'all already tuned into one of her songs last episode. She's very eclectic with her rap vibes. She's very from the heart, and that's what I feel when I listen to her music. So hopefully y'all are feeling the same way. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and supporting the Nationally on a Wave segment. And let me stop talking so now Miss Goddess Indra can get into what she got to say to y'all. So I appreciate y'all. You already know, stick to the end. I got my little words of, of whatever I like to say at the end. But anyways, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, please give it up and tune into Miss Goddess Indra. Check, check. I think I'm good. Was the same one talking shit? Yeah. Now you on my page like in pics. Yeah. On the sideline, shivering me on, but you slept on me for, for far too long. Now I'm up, man, I'm all the way up. I see your fake ass in the club, trying to DK. Show me love, please, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Uh, don't stop, don't stop. Fanny, fanny, I'm hot, I'm hot. Don't stop, don't stop. Fanny, fanny, I'm hot, I'm hot. Ooh, don't stop, don't stop. Fanny, fanny, I'm hot, you're not. Don't stop, don't stop. Fanny, fanny, I'm hot, you're not. Who that, who that, who that, who that? I be with a smoke that, smoke that, smoke that, smoke that, huh? Mm-hmm. Get it? I keep on rolling. You know, you know how that shit go. All I keep hearing is broken to go. All these niggas, they like my stuff. What's poppin', family? I hope y'all was rocking with the get it off your chest vibes. And if you were, do me a favor. Please go and leave a review and rating for the Grown Up Podcast so we can grow our family. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to just be stingy and just keep it to ourselves. We want to grow and, uh, you know, expand to everybody. So do that solid for me. And as always, we're celebrating a spotlight artist this month for the Naturally on a Wave segment. It is Miss Goddess Indra. As you can tell, she's eclectic with her vibe. She spills her feelings and soul on her track. And you already know her links will be in the description for you to click right away check her out stream her music and follow her and of course my links will be in the description for you to follow me and check me out as well you already know i love y'all i appreciate y'all stay safe be kind and we gonna keep rocking out we out